How to Get Wrinkles Out of Leather Leather is a durable and stylish material, useful for clothing, shoes, and furniture. Like many other materials, though, leather can be susceptible to wrinkling if used intensively or not stored properly. Getting wrinkles out of leather can be easy, however, if you know how to properly handle the material. Relaxing the wrinkles with low heat and small amounts of steam can help you keep your leather looking crisp without damaging the material. Method 1 Pulling on the Leather 1. Get a Hanger Put your leather item that needs to wrinkling on a hanger. Make sure to use a hanger appropriate for the garment. If, for example, you need to get wrinkles out of a jacket, make sure you have a hanger with wide shoulders to ensure that the stress caused by pulling the jacket won't result in additional creases along the shoulder line. For skirts and pants, use a hanger with rubber, padded clips and hang at the waistband to let the garment hang at its full length. For items too large to hang, the pulling technique may not work. Try to avoid thin metal hangers as these may bend when put under stress. 2. Hang the garment somewhere sturdy. You will be pulling on the garment, so you need to hang it somewhere that can not only handle the force of the leather, but also withstand you pulling down on it. A beam in your closet, a coat rack, or other object meant for hanging clothes would be an ideal area. Avoid areas like small nails on the wall or pressure rods for curtains, as these are susceptible to failing when put under stress. 3. Pull gently. Using your hands, pull lightly on the garment until the wrinkles relax. Pull in opposite directions at the same time, meaning that if you are working on a vertical wrinkle, you should grab it from both the top and the bottom of the wrinkle and pull gently in both directions. Relax your wrinkles by alternating pulling from the top and bottom and from both sides. Do not hold a pull for too long. The exact amount of stress a leather piece can take depends on the garment but avoid pulling for longer than 3 to 5 seconds at a time to be safe. Let the leather rest for another 3 to 5 seconds before you begin pulling again. Understand that this method is intended for small wrinkles, not for larger wrinkles or creases. Method 2 Steaming with a Steamer 1. Get a Fabric Steamer You can use an upright steamer or a hand steamer, but try to find one that is durable and well-regarded. Check online reviews and shop around before purchasing. Steamers are a good all-purpose way to get wrinkles out of leather. They work for garments and shoes as well as larger items such as furniture. 2. Start your steamer. Set your steamer to a medium-low setting and allow it heat fully. Test it out away from the leather before you apply any steam to the wrinkled item. Cold or barely, their steam would allow for quick condensation on your leather item, which creates some damage. Read over your steamer's instructions and the manufacturer recommendations regarding heating times before you use the steamer on your leather. 3. Hang your garment. If you are steaming a leather garment, hang it vertically. The steam relaxes the leather, allowing the natural weight of the garment to pull the wrinkles down and out. Use a hanger or the rack of your standing steamer. If your leather objects are too large to hang, do not worry. The steam will still relax the leather enough for the wrinkles to settle. 4. Steam your garment. Use the steamer to apply an even coat of steam over the wrinkled parts of your leather. If possible, get both the inside and the outside of the wrinkled areas. Be sure to hold the steamer 4 or so inches from the garment and only apply steam for a second or so at a time, moving over the garment in same fashion that you would with an iron. If the wrinkles aren't relaxing on their own after steaming, gently pull them to help relax them further. Do not apply too much steam at a time. This could damage the leather and possibly the seams of your piece. If you notice any moisture condensing on your leather because of the steam, take a clean, dry cloth and gently blot off the excess moisture. Method 3 Steaming in the Shower 1. Run the hot water. Get your shower warm enough so that it is capable of fogging up the glass in your bathroom. Keep it warm enough so that the steam builds, but no so hot that you can't actually shower in the water. If you have a means of monitoring temperature in your shower, keep the water at around 105 F, 40.5 C, the average temperature for a shower. 2. Allow the steam to build up. As it does so, close the door to keep any steam from escaping. Put your leather item on a hanger and leave hanging in the bathroom near to the source of steam but far away enough from the shower that no water gets on the leather. 
Try using a towel rack or a doorknob as a place to hang your leather item. Leather is not intended to deal with large quantities of water. Keep your leather far enough from the shower that no water drops get on it. If you notice water condensing on the leather, gently blot it off with a clean, dry towel. 3. Let the garment steam. Allow the garment to sit in the steam for as long as possible. Let it remain in the bathroom during the length of your shower, then allow it to hang in the bathroom a bit longer. Wait until the steam starts to dissipate and the bathroom starts to cool before removing the garment. Do not let the bathroom cool completely. This will set the leather and stop you from smoothing out any remaining creases. 4. Smooth the garment. When you're done steaming, lay out the garment on a flat surface and smooth it out with your hands. Pull stubborn wrinkles gently to relax them. Allow the leather to cool on the flat surface before moving or wearing it. This helps set the smooth leather and prevents re-wrinkling. Method 4 Ironing Leather 1. Heat your iron on low. Leather isn't made to be ironed, and ironing it poses inherent threat of damage. Help mitigate this by turning your iron to its lowest setting before bringing it in contact with leather. Empty the steam well from your iron before you begin, as well. This helps avoid spilling and potential water damage. 2. Find a covering. Get a heavy, brown paper or a 100% cotton cloth, such as a towel, and place it on top of the leather surface. Do not use lighter papers or fabrics, as the cover will burn in direct contact with the heated iron. Make sure the covering is clean and dry. Wipe any paper off with a towel before use. 3. Iron. Iron your leather quickly and with a light hand. Do not hold the iron or move it slowly across the leather, even in stubborn areas. This may cause the leather to burn and could leave permanent damage. Never put the iron directly on leather. Move the covering as necessary for larger items or deeper wrinkles. Store or hang your leather item immediately after ironing if you do not intend on using it right away. Tips Store your leather garments in a dry, ventilated place at a consistent temperature. Fluctuating temperature may cause wrinkling, cracking, and damage. Cover your leather garments in a thin, lightweight cloth, such as a thin cotton garment bag or a muslin slip, while storing for extended periods of time. Warnings Leather is not meant to withstand extreme or extended heat or moisture. Minimize exposure to heat and to wet or humid conditions.